When deciding what the most important game in football history is, there are, of course, many different games people might bring up. Any World Cup final for a start, or the first FA Cup final, or that time Pele stopped a war, which is more myth than fact, but it is a cool story. But I would offer up a different FA Cup final. Not the first one, but the 12th one in 1883 between Blackburn Olympic and the Old Etonians. Now, to understand why this game is so important, we need to understand some context and what this game meant for the future of football. First of all, let's look at the two teams and what they represent. On the one hand, we have Blackburn Olympic, a team that was formed just a few years before the FA Cup final appearance and would be dissolved just six years later. Blackburn Olympic were known as a working class team made up of primarily workers from local factories. They were one of many such teams in that area at the time and many of them had success in and around the years of this FA Cup final. The Old Etonians, on the other hand, were as far from working class as possible, for these people were old pupils of Eton College, which, for those of you who aren't aware, is probably the most aristocratic school in all of Britain. These were people that would go on to be politicians, professors at universities, and even the head of the football association itself. And this establishes the first reason that this game was so important. It represented the poor versus the elite in Victorian Britain. This might surprise some of you as today we know football as a working class game or the people's game, but that wasn't always the case. Before the 1883 final, football was actually dominated by people who represented posh private schools and at the highest levels was an aristocratic sport. Sure, working class football clubs had been established up to 20 to 25 years before this final, but if you look at the previous winners of the FA Cup, they all represent the established elite in society. Even in Blackburn's semi-final match against Old Carthusians, another private school which today charges £40,000 a year to attend, the people of Blackburn didn't think that they could win against a team that had won the FA Cup just two years earlier. But they did, 4-0 in fact, and that set up a final between the two most diametrically opposed teams. The Morning Post described the game events as such. The deciding trial in the competition came off at Kennington Oval on Saturday. The attendance was very large. In the first half, the Old Etonians scored a goal, kicked by Goodhart. But matters were balanced when Massey got the leather through. At the call of time, the score stood at a goal each, and then the extra half hour was entered upon. A very exciting struggle followed, and at about 15 minutes from the call of time, Costley headed the ball through, and no further score being made, Blackburn were winners by two goals to one. Whilst any story of the little guy beating the establishment is a fun one, this game has an even greater significance to it, as this game took place when a much bigger debate within football was taking place, and these two clubs were on opposite sides of it. That was the debate of professionalism within football. It all started at the beginning of the 1880s, when Northern English teams began paying players to play for them, particularly players from Scotland. The Scottish players moved because professionalism in Scotland was heavily opposed and many of the players who moved to England were called traitorous. The elite public schools at the time shared the Scottish opinion and believed the game should be an amateur sport, mostly so the only people who could afford to play seriously were the elite. And so this game also represented a real smaller version of this key debate in footballing history. And just imagine football without professionalism. We all know the money being invested into football these days, but without these players pushing for the team owners to pay them a fair wage for their services, it's very likely football wouldn't have become as popular as it is today and may have been completely unrecognisable. I'm not here to claim that this game single-handedly opened the door for professionalism in football. In fact, it's likely it was inevitable given enough time. But this game did help change the footballing landscape forever. There were arguments over the result of this game and more to follow and some punishments were handed out to teams for paying their players. But this result and others like it just opened a door that would never again be closed. After this game, never again would the elites of society win an FA Cup. They would make way for the working class teams who would go on to push for professionalism to become a recognised part of the game, which it did a few years later in 1885. They would go on to create the first football league in 1888 and go on to become the teams we know and love today. And it all started in 1883, when in extra time James Costley got his head to the ball and proved that anyone could find success in football. And that is just a little bit of football history. Thanks for watching.